so first impression from Skopje, Macedonia. I just arrived a few minutes ago and I took a nice hotel with a balcony and already like there is enormous traffic jams in this part of the city and there was like a small car accident right next to my hotel and I, it's it causes huge traffic jam and a lot of people beeping each to each other oh now the police came it's like <laughs> it took ages until they came um, and definitely Macedonia feels like it's more Asian or Middle Eastern than the other Balkan countries that are more European um, this is what I feel from my first impression and it makes sense because it's closer to you know Turkey and basically to Asia so and first time I saw people drink tea in the Balkans and you know usually they drink coffee or so tea is very very Middle Eastern um, yeah that's it for now I will go to have a look very good look at the city and see you later so I'm in Skopje center on my way to Macedonia Square um, actually I just arrived there and I'm here to meet two friends of mine let's see if I will be able to find them because I didn't have time to make a local SIM card yet it's a huge square but we will see look how many statues here wow And of course, in the middle, the Macedonian hero, Alexander the Great. A huge statue. Wow. Oh yeah, I saw them. Makoe! <laughs> Wow, Dana wants to go to this pirate something. I don't think it's ugly. Dana said, I want, I want to live in this... I want to live, in to live inside. Ask them. I think it's nice. It has its charm. It's like very it's like, it's like it's Macedonia, you know. It has it has a very unique <laughs> style. Macedonian style. Yeah, Macedonian style. <laughs> this is the main highway of Skopje. Look, see, it's uh, just renovated now. My friends told me I only take pictures of kebab. Kebabs, kebabs and coffee. It's like one friend one friend told me this I have a coffee trip. One one friend told me it's a coffee trip. The my other friends tell me do you have you only take pictures of kebab. <laughs> tell them it's the fault of the Balkans. That's just the Yeah, Thank this you. is You know if I want to eat the local food then what do I eat? Like uh, McDonald's, I don't know. It's like kebab. Chevap. This is what they eat here. So we are now, I think, in the Grand Bazaar, in the Old Bazaar of Skopje. And Dana said it looks like Ohrid. I think it looks like uh, New Delhi. <laughs> no, no, this doesn't look like the main bazaar, but... No, no, I'm, I'm kidding. It's like, uh, it's like Jaffa, I don't know. The main street in Jaffa. Ohrid looks pretty much like this one. There, there is like one main street going from the middle of town all the way to the lake which seems pretty much like this tree. Wow, it's a good uh, smell. I will be in Ohrid later. So I will definitely make a video about Ohrid. Make sure you watch this video as well. Smell the kebab. Wow. Yeah. Let's go into some kebab. Yeah. Not uh, Mexican food, yeah? No, not, no. not Italian food, kebab. This area is really, really nice. A lot of like taverns. 
looks, local taverns and clothing shops, shoes. Smells like kebab everywhere. Yeah, Nana said it looks authentic, but very touristic as well. Exactamente. <laughs> this looks like a nice place. <laughs> so they said they are closing because uh, there are just there are, yeah, the, the products are finished. It was like a nice and doll, beef say, inside the doll. Let's start walking to the restaurants we wanted because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I'm getting hungry too. Well, let's try ice cream. Ice cream. A lot of different opinions here. Three people, four opinions. I want a kebab. Ice cream. No ice cream. Lama, why not? You don't want? Too many colors. Food, it looks like food colors. Yeah, it looks like a really fancy, like nice place. So we did the, like a circle. And now I know for sure that Dana and Alon don't have a clue about the city. They don't know anything. But we are again in Makedonska Square. We know the important things. The like important where things. <laughs> the where to eat the Italian food, the Mexican food, and the local food as well. We were going to eat in a local restaurant. So yeah, have a look, have a look at the Makedonska Square again. Then I want to ask me something privately. Something related to... Okay, I will tell you later. I think we are walking like two hours. I'm totally exhausted. Honestly, I thought they were trying to kidnap me. But they said we're very close to the restaurant. Zeu? We, they said we, are, we have arrived, but they... They are not sure that they have available place for us. <laughs> Toto. Okay. okay, we got some food. What do we have here alone? We have Macedonian salad, which is basically just onion, tomato, and roasted peppers. And Shropska salad, which is like a, a salad that is in all over the Balkan, which is a, a basic tomato, onion, and, a, and like one cheese. Olive. Yeah, one olive. and we got some uh, spreads that I don't really know of, and I just wanted to try. I think they're also local. Some sort of like peppers and egg planted seeds. And the Pepsi. And the Pepsi. Yalla, let's eat. Let's eat. So far, so good. Why? Lutinica. The Pokakta Im, I mean, Rafa. The salads are really nice. Yeah, it's a good place. But the company, even better. So so. <laughs> Alon really likes this salad. I, th I think it's a uh, lutinica. It's made from red peppers. Wow! 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 Yeah, let's help you. Fantastic. <laughs> Yo, wow. So the burger, two chickens and 25 kebabs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I think you will have food for home as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most likely. Wow. We ordered a lot of meat. Don't forget the bread. The bread. You can put it here. Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Why, 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 why? Why, why, we The meat is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You also get this amazing bread. Everything is warm and fresh. <laughs> what do you have to say, guys? I'm, I'm, if you're in Skopje, you should come here. Yeah. This restaurant is definitely worth it. It's called Toto. So the, the, the bill was... Roughly 40 euros. 1875 dinars and it's around 30 euros, I think? No, more. Uh, alone, I don't know calculation, I will explain it later. <laughs> yeah, so around 30 euros for like this huge meal and oh, wait, 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 we have right. I, I euros. Yeah, I, know, I, I, I know, I calculated three. I know, alone, I know. And we also <laughs> had the good, like half of the meat for, for uh, <laughs> yeah. take away. So. Yeah. This was a nice meal. It's night already. Really nice restaurant, nice food and nice people. So the time is now 8.30 p.m. And we're going back to, I think we're going back to the hotel because everything is closed in 9 p.m. here in Macedonia now. And in 10 p.m. there is curfew. So if you are in the streets after 10 p.m., they will shoot you. Or, like, don't be in the street after 10 p.m. You'll get a ticket or something. So we are... They, they want me to die today. Red light, don't do, don't traffic light. Also. Yeah. You made me a criminal. Alon just said that... Uh, that this Macedonia Square looks like uh, Times Square at night. See for yourself. See for yourself. Zeo, po'tem zorkim oti kilo? Ah, nachon, sheli ze sham. Sagur. Yalla, echa tem rapekim, ma tem ze? Thank you very much for the company. See you later, huh? <laughs> they abandoned me here in Macedonia Square. Now I walk to my hotel. First impression, or maybe second impression, from Skopje, Macedonia. It's a very interesting city. Definitely unique. I haven't seen something like this before. A lot of statues everywhere, like bronze statues. The food was very nice today in the restaurant and the architecture of the city is, I would say, unique. I haven't seen something like that before. Like, judge, judge for yourself. Um, yeah, and again, the, I feel like the culture here is like one foot in Europe, one foot in Asia. Very interesting, this collage of cultures. You know, Turkish influence, Greek influence. Balkan influence all mixed together and I look forward to see the rest of the city Skopje 11 p.m. No one in the streets There is curfew now after 10 p.m. because of coronavirus This is a brave man <laughs> 